What's up Guru Gang? It's your girl Sim, also known as the Thrift Guru, and today we are back with another video. Right now we have just landed in Las Vegas. I am on a girls trip with my friends. We just really wanted a break, but I thought since I got here earlier before anyone else that I would go thrifting. So let's see how this thrift adventure is about to be. My boyfriend, who was amazing, dropped me off to the airport and now we are officially here in Las Vegas. It's about 1.45 p.m. and I'm about to go downstairs. I have my one little carry-on. And I'm about to go ahead and just call an Uber and go to a thrift store. Let's hope that they have some really bomb and exciting things. Hope you guys like this video. Go ahead and give it a like already. Let's get this video to 100 likes. Also, make sure you comment down below and subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be hopping straight into my Uber and heading to a thrift store. I believe the thrift store name is Savers. It's the closest one to the airport and my friends aren't too far behind me. So hopefully I'll be able to do that really quickly and still meet them at the hotel. So I have entered the thrift store savers and at first glance, it kind of gives me like Burlington Coat Factory vibes. It reminds me of a regular store, which is something I'm not used to. I like when thrift stores like look like a thrift store, but this feels like I'm at like a Macy's or a Ross or something. So kind of gives me a weird vibe, but we're gonna go ahead and still try to look around and see if we see anything dope in just the major differences between thrift stores in Las Vegas and in Atlanta. So like I mentioned before y'all, I'm literally just in here to kill time. So I'm not really looking for anything in particular. I kind of wanted just to show you guys how thrifting is in Las Vegas, if their stores are different from the ones in Atlanta. And if you guys should probably come out here, of course I know that I cannot judge all of Las Vegas thrift stores off of one thrift store alone, but the prices are high y'all. Let's go ahead and look at these hats. So I see that they have a lot of NFL hats in here, which is kind of dope. Also, what's really cool about thrifting in other states is that like you get a lot of their merch in there. For example, I just finished seeing the University of Las Vegas like hoodie and I thought that was kind of dope because of course you can't find stuff like that in Atlanta. This is a pretty fire little hat, something simple, flames on it. These hats are all going for around $199 to $599, which isn't bad. That's about the typical price of hats in any thrift store. Let's see what else is going on. Okay, so something that I'm noticing about the Vegas thrift stores is that they are very expensive. So I saw this pretty dope t-shirt, but they're asking for $8.49 for it, which is really high. So I found a couple of shirts and a couple of hoodies so far. So we're just gonna go ahead and keep on looking. All right, so this is pretty interesting. I just found a Brett Favre Green Bay Packers jersey and they're selling this one for $49.99. So that's kind of interesting just to see that one that they have a jersey like that in here and that is going for that much yeah even though brett Farr is a retired quarterback very well known i don't know if they're taxing with that price y'all now this is something that i thought was really fire it's a chicago black hawks hoodie in really great condition you guys know i love crop and stuff but you also could sell something like this as is the price for it is a lot it's 17 dollars, so unfortunately i will not be picking this one up but i do want to show you guys a couple of the cool things that i am finding All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the cool things that I found so far. I just finished picking up this Utah hoodie. I love the print on it. And again, in very good condition. That's also another thing I'm noticing is that the clothing and material in the Las Vegas thrift stores is really high quality. I barely see anything in here that are stains or have stains on them. I thought this is really funny and cute. It's like an old school Nestle quick t-shirt with the print on there. And I just love it because it kind of just gave me like back to those memories of when I was a little kid watching those commercials. Another fire item that I found was the San Francisco All-Star Game 2007. Like, so I always call these windbreaker pullovers because they don't have a zipper, but then the material is like that of a windbreaker. So really dope, kind of small, but I know that that would sell really nice on the website. Also came across this kind of crackle print Reebok hoodie. It's only $3.99, so I'm still thinking about if I want to get this. The t-shirts in here are pretty normal, around the same things that I would find if I was in Atlanta. This was a dope one. I believe this one is a 2009 um, Colts like, championship t-shirt. 
I love the fading on it and the size of it. It's something that I could definitely see my man wearing. I don't know if he's a Colts fan, but this is cute, so I'm definitely gonna get this. Also came across this San Francisco like baseball tee. Again, the size of it is so nice. The print on there is nice and bold. And I believe this one's like only $2, so definitely gonna get this as well. Now, I can say that the thrift stores here are a lot more organized than the ones in Atlanta. So this is an overall viewpoint of how big this store is. So like I said, it literally reminds me of a TJ Maxx of some sort. So something else that I'm noticing is that there are a good amount of resellers here. So don't think that if you come to a different state that the game is gonna stop because honestly, this is where it all gets started. You guys, if this does not scream Las Vegas vibes, I don't know what will. I just found another flame button up. These are so tough to me, y'all. I have no idea why, but I have to get it. They just go with so many things and it's such a statement piece. So I'm pretty much done with this thrift store. So I'm about to check out and I will meet back up with y'all either in the hotel or outside. All right, you guys, so change of plans. As you can see, I am not back at the hotel or in the car because I ended up just not recording anything while I was in Vegas because I really just told myself I wanted to relax. So I decided to film the ending of the Las Vegas thrift trip vlog today. And also I will be announcing the giveaway winners after I give you guys my overall thoughts on thrifting in Vegas. So like I said before, originally I went to Vegas to just hang out with my girls, hang out with my friends. I did not go there to specifically go thrifting, but since my plane landed a lot earlier than my friends on I just thought why not go to the thrift store a few things that I noticed was that one the prices were extremely expensive and something that I just definitely wouldn't pay for as far as thrift prices go second the savers thrift store that I went to did not remind me of like a legit thrift store it really gave me like Burlington Co Factory vibes which just wasn't my thing so I was kind of already threw off my game with that but overall like I said, I can't judge Vegas off of one thrift store alone, but just gauging it off of that one, I definitely wouldn't go thrifting there. But you guys, if you know anyone who lives in Vegas, if you're from Vegas, and you can prove to me that thrifting there is lit, just comment down below your favorite thrift stores in Vegas, and I'll try to go out there again and give it one more shot. Okay, so it is now time to announce the giveaway winners from my ThriftCon Atlanta vlog. First of all, thank you guys so much for everyone who entered the giveaway, for you guys running up the views. You guys got that ThriftCon vlog video up to 1,000 views and about like 150 likes. So thank you so much again, because that's like the best I've done in a while. And like I tell you guys all the time, my goal is to reach 5K subscribers on YouTube and you guys are making it a lot easier for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So originally I told you guys I didn't know whether I wanted to choose three separate giveaway winners or have one giveaway winner have all three items. Eventually I thought to myself, man, I'm just gonna give one person all three items and the winner I'm going to put their comment right here. I believe I would pronounce this Nairi24. I hope I'm saying that right. But congratulations, you are the winner of this giveaway. You will be receiving those three vintage pieces that I have put on display in the Atlanta Thrift Con vlog video. I will be doing a lot more because I have so much stuff that I need to give away. So please stay tuned. I probably will do one in the next video or the video after that. So thank you guys again for everyone who has entered the giveaway and also just much love. Again, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please like and comment down below. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you are not already subscribed and of course you know i cannot forget to tell you all whatever you aspire to be in life aspire to be a guru at it i love you and i'll see you in the next video yeah we bringing change things won't be the same drip from the guru don't forget her name shorty is a flame hot hot dripping with the stain yeah we here to stay see the way